I'll start out basically with 100 points, then you take it down from there. I'm learning. You judge it for your symmetry, your condition, the amount of bloom, the color of the bloom, if it's blooming to type. So, I mean, all that's taken into consideration. So. And the reason we like this one so much is because it has everything going for it except for the condition. It just needs some greening up under the condition, but it's got a real good form starting, and it obviously wants to send out a nice little crown of blooms. Mm -hmm. So we really like that How would that you green plant. it up, do you think? You need some nitrogen going in there. So wh whose plant is this? Me. What are you <laughs> feeding it? Um, just all different kinds of violet fertilizer, and even 2020-20, mm -hmm. I tried all kinds of stuff. This is the one, because all my other plants, they're green, they don't bloom a lot, but they're nice and green and yeah, healthy. the only one. And this is the only one that's so pale. Mm -hmm. So that's either a pH issue or a nitrogen issue, I would say. What do you think? Yeah, it could be. Mm -hmm. uh, but Melody, Kimmy, doesn't that have a, a, mm -hmm. a lighter foliage to begin with? I it don't does. Know, it doesn't go It dark. does. Mm -hmm. So there's that possibility. But we thought this was a real nice plant. It is. It's got very nice symmetry. <laughs> and I'd rather mm -hmm. find out what was wrong with it. <laughs> yeah, I would try those. I would try... <laughs> Have I heard Epsom salts helps with that a little bit? Or? You know, I don't know because I'm terrible. At, I've never, ever, ever checked my pH. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the last one to talk about that. But I know that it does cause some of the yellowing problems. Uh, that's what I've heard people talk about. And mm -hmm. then the trailer, this is just the most fantastic <laughs> trailer. I don't know who it belongs to, but it's got a nice... I do. Yes. Yes. I do. Yeah. 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 It's just beautiful. Yeah. It is. All it, is. it needs I mean, to do is it. come into yeah. bloom. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. How old is it here? It's got a couple it's leaves that need to come off that are damaged. Six months, seven months. Oh, that's all? Yeah. Really? Did, Did that you say it's only six, seven mm -hmm. months old? Yeah, I think so. Oh, my I mean, gosh. I would take off a couple of little damaged leaves, but I mean, this all it, all it needs is to come into bloom. You know, I think I the problem like is that. that I don't think, I have it on the corner of the light stand. I think I have to move it underneath the really direct lights to get yeah, more flower. Yeah, yeah, because you've really got a little bit of uneven variegation and you can see that that's where it wants to bloom more. Yeah. 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 But so it's just gorgeous. Wow, I mean, the condition, it's yeah. just fabulous. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean, you've, we told you to leave the stuff on. So right. I mean, you've got... <laughs> Things that have to come off here. Yeah. Does it matter if it hits the hits the table? Not at all. No. It's okay. But uh, you're gonna have to rotate your crops, Harold. <laughs> <laughs> I need a couple more stands, which my wife says. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> yeah, I like that. Do you keep you keep cutting off the crown, trimming the crown? Some of the plants, because uh, this one I haven't done anything with. I just let oh. it grow. But wow. the other ones I have now, I'm I'm trying to get it so it spreads out. And I've been trimming them off and trying to push them down. Obviously, it likes your growing conditions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you just rotate it to keep the variegation and the bloom a little, mm -hmm. more, a little more consistent, yeah, mm -hmm. consistent all the way around would be nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd love to see that plant when it comes into a full bloom. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to defer to Francis to pick the actual winner. Oh, dear. Okay. On neatness counts, I think we're going to go with this guy here. Mm -hmm. I would agree on that one, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. So I don't so know who that belongs who that, to. Whose plant is that? <laughs> That's mine. That's yours? Oh, of course it would be. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we pick a second best? Yes. you already yes. have a sucker plug? I do. Yes, please do. <laughs> okay, go for second, Francis. I think I'll go with the trailer here. Yay! I think I'll go with the trailer, too. I think so too. Yep. Thank God she offered a sucker plug because I didn't think to bring any big award out. I can make you a cardboard <laughs> ground with it. Oh, that's beautiful. And get a picture of this side when you're taking pictures. Let's leave this place where it wants to bloom. This is Glitter Fountain. Yeah. Glitter Fountain? I know you told me that earlier today. But yeah, I was quiet. Yeah. It's a beautiful plant. But I have to say all Can we get some feedback on some of the other plants? very good potential on these other plants. Give us your kind of running thoughts as we go down here, and just so we can get a sense okay. of. Okay. We wanted to. This is, I think, is argyle socks. So that's a semi mini. We've got rose here that could come off. Now, yeah, we I see a perfect little yeah. rosette right in here, and that's what I would bring it down to, and then fix that one little leaf so he's pointing now, in the Andrea right direction. Andrea just said she goes for yeah, the first thing she sees when she looks at a plant is what she would take off. So maybe that's not a bad way to go about doing this. There's two ways you can do this, though. If you're a little worried about what you're removing, you can either take white paper and slide it over the leaves to see if it'll look better without this. Or it'll look better coming on this yeah, side. I use little squares of toilet paper, actually. Or you, if you want to be a little more dignified, three by five cards. Thank you, Francis. <laughs> <It works. laughs> 
I've seen the toilet paper system. It looks like, you know, oh my gosh. <laughs> It works you scared for me. <laughs> I scared him a little bit. Mm -hmm. This one we thought just is, has a real good start. I, I, you know. Yeah, I don't know I if that's a mini or a semi going. mini. It's very close. I'm not. I'm not familiar with that one, but yeah, it's All got I a good do start. All I would do on that maybe. one is just butt it, take off those outer two leaves yeah. right there that Francis was just going over. Yeah. So you, you've got a nice little potential. Pluck off those blossoms and let it go. And this little guy here, Rob Smelling Wedges. I don't know. I don't know about the size of the. I don't know about the size of the pot there, but. See, that's a little big for me, but I yeah. only use the solo cups. You could probably leave that leaf there. Maybe there's one under here that's kind of a baby leaf that could come off. Interesting what they said. Which would be a good time to then pot it yeah. down into a more. Pot it down. down. And I didn't know you could. And we got a little carried away like here, it. too. But you would just leave it in a small I would let that one go and let interior. this interior crown fill out, and then ultimately, after that, take off all these outer leaves. Mm -hmm. I'd leave them on right now for energy to, to the plant. plant. Mm -hmm. All right. Another thing that can help is the small <laughs> support rings. If you get them up under there, sometimes that helps. Just lifting it up, you can kind of see the wheel a little bit better mm -hmm. with a form. You ver fertilize your variegated the same as you do as the salad color. Well, I do, I but do yeah, you but use a no. less nitrogen? Or? You can. I just grow them cooler. I got <laughs> grow them on the lowest, yeah, the shelf nearest the floor. I do that, too. Yeah. All right, hold on a second. We're going to go to a part two now.